The Illuminati is one of the most captivating conspiracy theories that ever circulated pop culture. I sure was captivated when I was around 7 back in 2011 discovering the internet for the first time. And for an organization that is seemingly built on secrecy and controlling every major string in the background of world events, everyone seems to know about them. And every politician or powerful figure seems to be a member of the Illuminati. But not just politicians, pop stars and celebrities were said to be messengers of the Illuminati. With their subliminal messages and hidden symbols and devilish music, music. they were, according to some, indoctrinated indoctrinating everyone and taking over the world. So let's actually look back at the 2010s popsters and see whether they really are part of the Illuminati or not. Let me stress this to everyone watching. I did a human review of my video when YouTube inevitably restricts this video. Hi. This is all obviously ridiculous. If you think it's not mentally broken in the head, baby, go see a therapist. All of this is for fun and giggles. Deep down, I am a good Christian girl, so keep that in mind. So let's actually go back in time and briefly gloss over what the Illuminati was. Adam Weishaupt, a German law professor who believes strongly in enlightenment ideals, founded the Bavarian Illuminati, a secret society that operated for only a decade, from 1776 to 1785. His Illuminati Nordens sought to promote these ideals amongst elites. Weishaupt wanted to educate Illuminati members in reason, philanthropy, and other secular values so that they could influence political decisions when they came to power. For around 69 guys in the group at the start, they really were ambitious. They wanted to take over the world. You know what? Let's give them their tens. I, I give tens what tens are due. They had a big plan, they tried to do it, and they were girl bosses for that. But even at its largest, it only consisted of somewhere between 615 and 2,500 members. Their goals and reputation often exceeded their means and they did a lot of unusual stuff. They used symbols like the owl, adopted pseudonyms to avoid identification, and had complicated hierarchies like novice, Minerva, and illuminated Minerva that divided the ranks. These are all now modern indicators associated with the Illuminati. There is also strong evidence for the Eye of Providence, the Eye and the Dollar, originating from the Freemasons which some associate with the Illuminati group. The Illuminati promoted the worldview that reflected enlightenment ideals like rational thought and self-rule, and they were also anti-clerical and anti-royal. They were closer to revolutionaries than world rulers, since they sought to infiltrate and upset powerful institutions like the monarchy. They were kinda successful in acquiring some power as they had some influential members along with many dukes and other leaders who were powerful. They might have even influenced the Jacobins, the political club that spurred the French Revolution to its most radical heights. Even George Washington wrote a letter about them saying that they were a threat. They were on a high, but then they were destroyed in 1785 by the Duke of Bavaria. As he banned secret societies, including the Illuminati, and instituted serious punishments for anyone who joined them. Most of the group's secrets were were disclosed or published, and if you believe most historians, the Illuminati Tano snap disappeared. But as soon as the Illuminati disbanded, conspiracy theories about them sprung up. And the idea of a secret group controlling the world behind the scenes was always burbling in the background of pop culture. Around the 2010s, the concept of the Illuminati had a surge in interest. And one of the targets of the Illuminati craze of the internet was 2010 pop stars. Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber, Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, Beyonce, and Jay-Z. They were all indicted with accusations of being part of the secret society that controls the world through their music videos and secret messages in their songs. By by this time, the views of the general public towards the Illuminati has evolved to it being part of the New World Order, a conspiracy theory which hypothesizes a secretly emerging totalitarian world government. The Illuminati, intent on global domination, treat pop music as a powerful mind control weapon, weaving secret messages and dark imagery into hits and videos. And a lot of people subscribe to the theory that all these emerging 2010 pop stars were part of this New World Order. Jay-Z, he's an Illuminati puppet. Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj, they're all Illuminati whores. Connie West, Lil Wayne, Beyonce, Rihanna, Illuminati agents, even Michael Jackson and Tupac's that were said to be assassinations of the Illuminati. All of this information is spread out sloppily but plentifully in sites like YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, and other fan discussion boards. According to these experts, if you train your eye enough, you would spot the Illuminati sartorial choices embedded into the songs and music videos of these pop stars. The Illuminati now has been linked to satanic worship, something that's kind of weird considering the original Illuminati was very anti-church and anti-monarchy. To the best of our knowledge, they did not like religion from what we can tell. They just did weird rituals and things. And it seems that pop stars becoming part of this Illuminati is a variation of another famous fairy tale about musicians, selling their soul to the devil. I mean, you know the story by now. Struggling musician, actor, performer tries their shot at the industry, fails, becomes desperate, sells their soul to the devil, becomes mega famous, mega successful, but they're never truly happy. Their deal with the devil is always looming around them. This story has been around for a long time. I'm sure every single culture has a version of this somehow. Hell, even the Little Mermaid follows this basic formula, but with legs instead of success. At first, 
first made its way into music in 1713, thanks to Giuseppe Tartini. The main focus of these stories seemed to center around the most popular and controversial types of performers at the time. In the 1920s and 1930s, it was blues musicians. Around the 70s and 80s, it was rock stars that were ignited with these types of rumors, which also led to us getting the explicit sticker, now seen in singles and album covers. And then in the 2000s to 2010s, it was rappers and pop stars. It seems like in the 2010s, instead of the deal directly between the musician and the devil, conspiracy theorists have squeezed in the Illuminati as a third party who negotiates the deal. Another theory involving the Illuminati and these pop stars is the MK Ultra experiment. Some conspiracy theorists say that pop stars are selected for their helplessness against the MK Ultra slash monarch type mind control. This kind of programming is necessary to turn people into celebrity puppets whose behavior is to be emulated by the public. The stars that do this best becomes icons of Illuminati symbolism, using their careers and souls to pin occult messages and ideas to the masses. They also say that being subjected to monarch programming and MK Ultra conditioning develops a form of schizophrenia in the victim, causing them to take on two distinct personalities. One personality is able to perform whatever degrading, self-deprecating behavior is necessary to pull off such ritualistic, ridiculous public performances. The other personality, the true and private self, is subdued, eventually begging for help. And they pinpoint Katy Perry who publicly broke down and Britney Spears' public breakdown as examples. Let's look at some of these evidences that they have discovered. Also, most of the things that they say will be repetitive, so I will be skipping through a lot, but I will be going through like the basic things that they say. Music videos for these 2010 pop stars really were the favorite of these conspiracy theorists to point out as evidence for the pop stars being members. The Illuminati has a lot of associated symbols within the organization. The Eye of Horus or Eyes in general, pyramids and triangles. If it featured any of those in the music video, you're a member of the Illuminati. Kesha, debuting with TikTok, the superior TikTok, had a sort of party girl reckless persona, and people started associating her with the devil and the Illuminati, so she fully embraced those imagery, especially with her music videos for Die Young and Crazy Kids. Die Young specifically had a lot of triangles and satanic imagery, a lot of flashing lights too, upside down crosses, and some interpreted this as Kesha mind controlling her fans and viewers of the music video. I definitely remember younger me not even finishing the video because I was so scared. Crazy Kids also featured Illuminati symbols and triangles and the eye tattoo on Kesha's hand. Even Kesha herself has admitted to being the leader of the Illuminati. I mean, you can't get more obvious than that. Katy Perry is also someone who has been indicted with these Illuminati rumors. Like literally almost all of her music videos were said to be flaunting her Illuminati status. But the most damning music video is her Dark Horse music video, which had an Egyptian theme to it. And according to these awakened minds, anything Egyptian is Illuminati. The music video featured Katy performing all sorts of magic spells and at the end, is even seen rising above the pyramid. If Katy was hypnotizing us, then it kind of worked because Dark Horse brought a resurgence to trap music coming into pop. And it also spent 57 weeks on the Hot 100. Her later era, Witness, was said to be her trying to escape from the Illuminati, with an eye clearly shown in the album cover, and even Jimmy Fallon freaking out that Katy almost spilled the beans. But this is the eye in the mouth. Because you would think if you want to see something, just open your eyes and see. Well, you know what? You want to hear the story behind it? No. Okay. We, we have... <laughs> of course, I definitely want to... Are you kidding me? I want to hear everything you have to say. I love you. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Um... Sorry. No, I think, you know, uh, sometimes when you see an extra... Sometimes when you see an extra eye, you would see it, like, on, you know, your third eye. And for me, like... Through this journey, it's been a wonderful, incredible journey, and I've been able to share with you for over 10 years music. And Absolutely. I'm so, for me, the wonderful thing is like the music has allowed me to travel, which has re educated my mind and changed my perspective on so much. And so, like, my education and my consciousness comes from my voice. And that's how I see, and that's how I witness you, and that's how you witness me, and that's why the eye is in the mouth. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! The album also took on a more political statement, which changed to the rhythm being about the world being oblivious in their lives by distracting themselves with parties and catchy pop songs. We're living in a bubble, as Katie said. Is Katie trying to say something? She was even seen malfunctioning just recently. Justin Bieber and Drake have also been accused of being part of the Illuminati, as owls are heavily associated with them, which are said to be a symbol for the Illuminati. Justin having an owl tattoo and Drake having an owl as the logo for OVO, Drake's record label. Why did they choose an owl for that? Hmm, seems kinda sus to me. Lady Gaga is an absolute favorite of the Illuminati. Like, if there was a girl who the world is convinced of as part of this secret society, it's Lady Gaga. And the thing is, Lady Gaga absolutely plays to this. Her debut album is literally called The Fame. About the fame, success, money, all materialistic stuff that people are convinced is being pushed by the Illuminati. Add to that Gaga's eccentric fashion style and high art concept music videos, and that's a recipe for an Illuminati agent. Her fan base are literally called the monsters. And you know those monsters? They're indestructible. Strong machines bent on destroying the world. 
<laughs> okay, even I can keep a straight face saying that. And just that's a poker face, Lady Gaga loves covering her eye a lot. Which is another Illuminati giveaway. And honestly, there's so much things people say that links Lady Gaga to the Illuminati. The Bad Romance music video, her with Beyonce and video phone, her Born This Way album with her songs Born This Way wherein she openly supports the LGBTQ plus community, and her song Judas, which takes on a very religious theme in the music video. Honestly, as a kid, I was so afraid to watch this. I thought it was such a huge taboo watching this. I don't even think I got through the opening. I don't know, just something about the way Gaga stares at you. It's just so scary to me when I was a kid. Even kind of now, it kind of scares me. Not saying that Gaga is scary, guys. I'm just saying like her specifically in this video is kind of scary. Art Pop is also filled with Illuminati symbolism. Like we can really create an entire video on Lady Gaga and the Illuminati symbolism on her music. I think a part of that is because whenever conspiracy theorists sees religious symbolism or imagery in music videos, they jump to the conclusion of, oh, they're a devil worshiper or they're an Illuminati agent. Even Chromatica, her recent album, is speculated to be filled with Illuminati. Nicki Minaj is another person they love to target. With her alter egos and crazy personas, especially in her early years, why wouldn't she be a target? Nicki Minaj's conspiracy theory is different because the theory for her is that she is part of the MK Ultra experiments, which was an illegal human experimentation program designed and undertaken by the US CIA, intended to develop procedures and identify drugs that could be used in interrogations to weaken individuals and force confessions through brainwashing and psychological torture. I mean, how can you explain her acting crazy other than her being part of the MK Ultra, right? She even covers her eye in the super bass music video. Is it a reference to her lyric that references Slick Rick? Or is it referencing her Illuminati membership? People also love to point out Nikki's quick rise to stardom, and they're saying that's because of the Illuminati. I mean, how else can a black woman become that successful? Apparently not because of talent, but because of Illuminati. Rihanna is also not safe, you guys. In Umbrella, you can see Rihanna inside a triangle. Again, triangle, Illuminati, perfect match. She even covers her eye in her album Rated R. Like, if you're not convinced she's not brainwashing you, Rihanna being part of Rock Nation is also one of the evidence people have. As we all know that the owners of Rock Nation are the true supremes of the Illuminati, Beyonce and Jay-Z, the definition of a power couple. And one of their powers might be being part of the Illuminati, as some people say. And they are secretly ushering a revolution, a new world order, brainwashing the public through music videos and dance routines. Both Beyonce and Jay-Z are the absolute favorite target for these conspiracy theories. I think one of the biggest evidences people have about this conspiracy theory is the symbol both Jay-Z and Beyonce do. For several years, Jay-Z has, during his performances, made a hand signal that forms a triangle. This is supposedly meant to represent a diamond and has become synonymous with Jay-Z and his record label. Occasionally, Beyonce will also flash the hand signal, likely in support of her husband, but the triangle shape is, for some, associated with the Eye of Providence, which is as established a symbol for the Illuminati. Conspiracy theorists believe that Jay-Z's iconic hand signal is him secretly signaling his devotion to the Illuminati. The Illuminati also love themselves a hidden message when a song is reversed. If you listen to Beyonce's single ladies backwards, people say there's a little hidden message in there. <laughs> Kanye West and Eminem's are some rappers people believe to be part of the Illuminati. Well, in recent events, it seems like Kanye was kicked out of the Illuminati. And it's not just music videos or weird hand symbols. Sears use the quote-unquote weird behavior that these pop stars have to explain the Illuminati. Miley Cyrus twerking at the VMAs, Nicki Minaj and her alter egos, even performances like Katy Perry's Dark Horse Grammy performance or Nicki Minaj's Roman Holiday Grammy performance. Iconic. Madonna, Lady Gaga, even Beyonce's halftime show wherein these pics were released and Beyonce wanted Buzz feet to take them down, but people read this as Beyonce covering up the fact that demons were trying to get out from her body. <laughs> they expected Beyonce to look like this while performing. There's even humiliating rituals people say new members are needed to undergo, like Taylor Swift being embarrassed by Kanye, or recently Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. They were said to be Illuminati related. I think after looking at all the evidences for the Illuminati pop stars, we can all agree that these are all batshit insane. Like, are you guys being serious right now? I thought most of y'all were being sarcastic, but then I looked at the comments of some of the YouTube videos about the Illuminati and the pop stars, and y'all were dead serious in the comments. I feel like people with actual brain cells would know that all of these are crap. And I thought most people were sensible, but looking at some of these comments, they are dead serious, you guys. They really think Katy Perry of all people is a fucking Illuminati member. The things they say in these comments are laughable at best. The thing is, if you really wanted to see something, you would see it in some way. 
triangles can be found everywhere and very quickly and theorists can form a narrative by watching a music video and picking up on the secret symbolism by making wild associations between shapes set pieces and dance routines conspiracy theories can cook up some spectacularly strange narratives it doesn't help that 2010 pop stars and their creative teams use so much religious iconography in their performances and videos and songs that's why i think these series really thrived the way they did in 2010 2010 pop was extremely camp like everyone wanted to be wacky different funny unique they had to be they needed a new way to get people's attentions with the music industry's changing landscape that's why they used religious iconography and other prohibited symbols because they know it would draw attention it was also a time wherein creative freedom was starting to rise you were no longer restrained to the likes of mtv because you can just upload it on youtube pop stars were more willing to be risky and they were more allowed to be risky and with the modern landscape of social media as we know it's starting to form youtube twitter reddit tumblr instagram these platforms were building up in the 2000s this created the perfect conditions and the perfect storm for the illuminati conspiracy theory to pop out the political climate of this period was also crucial to the formation of this new illuminati world order theory social activism was reaching a new high because of social media conservative and liberal people were just at it and this is the big problem i have with this conspiracy theory and most conspiracy theories really most of these were created with an agenda in mind in an article entitled illuminati pop stars the in your face conspiracy theory that won't go away the waking times reports many other celebrities have also spoken out Corey Feldman went public with claims that Hollywood culture is rife with this the Illuminati mind controlling celebrity conspiracy is ubiquitous and the symbolism of the occult and of the Illuminati is everywhere. My problem with this is, we know that Hollywood is a shady place and we know that all of these things are rampant in Hollywood. But to place blame on this serious issue on a hypothetical group that we have no proof of existing today, a group so secretive everyone knows about them, is just sick. They then say, the pervasive Illuminati symbols in our culture subvert our natural independent and humanistic values. With a pernicious onslaught of stupidity, absurdity, sexualized garbage, and escape through intoxication. In no other cultural arena is the social engineering and moral manipulation more prevalent than in the world of pop entertainment. Which, in their defense, celebrity and pop culture does have its problems. It does promote materialism, body issues, insecurities, all that stuff. But it's not because of a secret organization mind controlling us. If mind controlling us were the main goal of these pop stars, well, they're failing because we keep on talking about them. They always seem to malfunction somehow. This is just the way the world works. It's just the way society is. This, and blaming it on the Illuminati will not help us solve these problems. And I think now we can talk about the obvious misogynistic, homophobic, and racist undertones these theories have. Notice how these theories always seem to target women or black people? That's no coincidence. Do these conspiracy theories target Lady Gaga because she's an Illuminati agent? Or is it because she's an unapologetic woman who openly embraces the LGBTQ plus community and is not afraid to use symbols of the church for her art? Is the hand symbol Jay-Z does really an Illuminati sign? Or is it just part of his culture and that the creator of these theories most probably white people don't understand even the new pop stars that people are accusing of being illuminati members lil nas x and billy eilish see the fucking pattern it's always the people they don't understand or the people they don't want to understand that's why they put these labels of illuminati agent mind control whore devil worshiper all these derogatory things to degrade them of their successes i think kanye west said it best only about this particular situation okay not anything else i heard a comment a joke about the title press conference being an illuminati moment if there was actually an illuminati it would be more like the energy companies, not celebrities that gave their life to music and who are pinpointed as decoys for people who really run the world. I'm tired of people pinpointing musicians as the Illuminati. And that's the thing. If the Illuminati was true, celebrities or musicians wouldn't be a part of it. If there was a secret society running the background, it would probably be ran by the richest people. Billionaires we never even heard of. Because even the richest celebrities, the billionaire celebrities like Rihanna, Oprah, they sit at the very bottom of the billionaires club. They're still extremely rich, don't get me wrong, but compare your money and power to other billionaires they just don't compare most billionaires hide their assets so to us they're really not billionaires those are the people who probably runs the illuminati not fucking celebrities or musicians be fucking for real i think now the illuminati is an inside joke for people in the know a lot of pop stars have referenced the illuminati in their music videos and songs rihanna in the snm music video shows off a headline that says princess of illuminati Nicki minaj voiced and did a bit in the cleveland show when she was part of the illuminati and beyonce's iconic y'all haters corny with that illuminati Mess. Most pop stars are aware of this theory and are being cheeky about it. When we say blank pop star renewed their Illuminati contract, it just means they're about to eat, they're about to serve. The people who get it, get it, and the people who don't. Don't. So now I'm going to be introducing my special guest, Miss Naomi Cannibal. Yes, Miss Naomi Cannibal is gonna be just doing her thing in this video, and yeah. Let's go to her part now. Hey, Naomi Cannibal here, stepping in to share my thoughts. Like Nathie, I remember growing up hearing all the Illuminati conspiracies of the 2010s. 
I remember people saying Run This Town was Rihanna's demonic initiation to the Illuminati. Or like if you listen closely at the beginning of 679, you could hear Fetty Wap claim that he worshipped the devil. It seems like with every song back then, someone was saying if you reversed it or inverted the lyrics or played it when the clock struck 12 midnight exactly on a full moon, you could decode some secret Illuminati or occult message. Now it's not as much of an epidemic as it was years ago, but I do still see it even with some of the pop stars coming up today. Anytime someone gets huge, they're either an industry plant or in the Illuminati. It's always one or the other. Because of so-called Easter eggs in her music videos, people have speculated that Billie Eilish is one of the Illuminati's newer initiates. Most recently, her music videos for Bury a Friend and All the Good Girls Go to Hell have been the subject of the speculation. According to Reddit, and this is ridiculous even for Reddit, Bury a Friend is about the rapper XXXTentacion, who passed away in June of 2018 while shopping for a new motorcycle. Allegedly, as part of the Illuminati's initiation process, people are asked to either sacrifice or kill someone, and people believe that X was Billy's sacrifice. Of course, there's absolutely zero evidence to back this theory up. As far as all the good girls go to hell, Billy has wings in the video, which for some reason got people's tinfoil hats tingling. People were really calling her the new face of the Illuminati over this. It's safe to assume that they're angel wings because they do have feathers on them and when they sprout out of her back in the beginning of the video, they're white. At the very beginning of the song, Billy says, my Lucifer is lonely and I'm sure she's referring to Lucifer, the fallen angel turned devil. She also literally falls from somewhere, presumably heaven in the beginning of the video. Once Billy hits earth, her wings and eyes turn black and she walks through a world of fire and destruction, kind of like hell on earth. People are saying the 12 syringes going into Billy's back at the beginning are representative of the 12 demon princes, which is actually untrue because there's only seven of which Lucifer is one. As much as you could argue the number 12 is demonic, numerology doesn't really support that. For one, Jesus had 12 apostles, each representing one of the 12 tribes of Israel. In Revelations, there are 12 gates and 12 angels. The number 12 usually represents completion both in the biblical and astrological sense. For example, there are 12 months in the year and 12 zodiacs. So while I'm not arguing the insignificance of the 12 syringes, I don't think the 12 syringes are proof of anything demonic or Illuminati. Maybe it could mean the opposite. Maybe it could mean the opposite, that Billy was forced to be and appear perfect, hence the angel wings, and couldn't live up to the expectations and thus fell from heaven. In her earlier music videos, people have claimed to see evidence of Billy referencing having to sacrifice the old version of herself or sell her soul to become famous. While I don't know what exactly Billy did or didn't do to get famous, it's important to remember that she's also a teenage girl who is starting to become a more public figure. So this imagery could also allude to struggling with fame and growing up, and might not always mean that she's trying to tell us that she sold her soul. Billy herself finds these theories ridiculous, and rightfully so. While she might have figuratively taken over the world with her massive debut and rollout, Billy's nowhere near being at the helm of a new world order, and probably isn't even part of it. Another pop star people are convinced is part of the Illuminati is Lil Nas X. Most of these rumors really kicked up after the Call Me By Your Name video was released. People seem to take the video's ending as Lil Nas saying he was now an agent of the devil and therefore part of the Illuminati. Of course, this wasn't helped by Lil Nas announcing the launch of his Satan shoes, which were an unofficial collaboration with Nike. The shoes had a pentagram and 666 on them. Each shoe contained a drop of human blood, which came from the members of the art collective who helped make the shoes. Nike had absolutely no part in this, and they made sure to release a statement that way the public knew this. The 666 pairs in stock sold out in under a minute, despite selling for $1,018. The $1,018 price point was a reference to the Bible verse Luke 10 that says, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Like Billy's video, this quote is a reference to Lucifer's fall from heaven. Lil Nas could just be a Satanist. Satanism and being an Illuminati aren't the same thing. And I could see why people were upset by the shoes or even the music video, but that doesn't mean that Lil Nas is part of the Illuminati and it also doesn't mean he's responsible for how we feel about things. In the Montero video, I think the real reason for including the whole devil lap dance part was to give the finger to people who believe all gay people are going to hell. And I think the shoes were just to get people talking and piss them off further and it clearly worked. Also, in general, it's extremely common for Western artists to make references to heaven and hell in their music because most of us are familiar with their religion, at least on a base level. Because of that, it's easy to interpret things of good and evil and light and dark in a biblical sense just because those references are so universal for many of us. 
One more artist I do want to talk about is Doja Cat. The Illuminati rumors are springing up tenfold recently because of her shaving her head and her odd behavior and makeup at Fashion Week. Apparently, having one black eye or appearing that you do shows her loyalty to the Illuminati. Doja Cat was seen with black eye makeup at the Balenciaga show, and people speculated she was there with her handlers. Some people said conservatorship, others said Illuminati. But most recently, her birthday party seems to be the biggest cause of the Illuminati speculation. Doja had an Eyes Wide Shut themed 27th birthday party, which raised even more flags because of the whole 27 Club conspiracy. If you don't know, Eyes Wide Shut is a Stanley Kubrick film, his last one in fact, about a couple joining a secret sex cult. In a nod to the film, Doja wore a cloak and Venetian mask to her party. These same items have been seen in other secret society gatherings, which I think is what got people talking. Her cake was also full of Illuminati symbolism and in the signature black and gold colors. I do want to point out that Eyes Wide Shut theme parties are a thing and I've heard of them myself even prior to the situation, and I'm sure Illuminati rituals aren't happening at all of them, even most of them if any. I guess the justification here is Doja's other odd behavior that's been seen as weird, as well as this being a celebrity party and people believing half these celebs are already in the Illuminati. People have also claimed that there's Illuminati and occult symbolism in the music video for You Write, a song that Doja did with The Weeknd. This so-called occult symbolism includes the checkerboard floor, which apparently is one of the Freemasons' most recognized symbols. Other people pointed to her headpiece, which I think is just Libra symbolism because that's her zodiac sign. But I guess how much you read into that depends on how you interpret astrology. I also feel it's important to point out that Doja is infamous for trolling, but I know you guys are going to be like, but that's why the Illuminati would pick her because we'd all think she's joking while it's right in our faces. But while it's not the worst logic in the world, I still disagree with that. While I do believe in secret societies and things of that nature 100%, I also believe the really dirty shit that's going on behind the scenes is the stuff that we'll never know about or even get hints about. A secret society that's actually trying to stay secret so that they can control people isn't just going to leave little crumbs in their music videos so that people can figure them out. You could also argue that they would use subliminal messaging, and they probably do, but half of these things aren't even subliminal if several people are pointing them out and theorizing about them. I think there's more to every industry and system than meets the eye, but I also see no benefit of hinting at this out in the open. I know people say that these celebs and elites give us crumbs so we think we have them figured out, but they're just a diversion. I've also seen people argue that they make this occult symbolism so obvious that it goes right over our heads. I just don't think that that makes any sense though. It makes perfect sense that elites are doing terrible and probably ritualistic things behind the scenes, but it's silly to think that we'd be purposely clued in on it, even to a small degree. I do believe celebrity is a cult of its own, and they might be part of something nefarious or several nefarious things, but I just don't think it's the Illuminati, or at least the Illuminati as we interpret it. And that's it for the Illuminati and the 2010 pop stars. A conspiracy theory that will always be alive some way, form, or another. Pop stars will continue being weird and people will interpret that weird behavior as them trying to take over the world. But as we explored, that's fucking absolutely ridiculous. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about.